Blessings, dear ones. This is Amara Amethyst, and I am here to empower you to live your soul purpose. One way I do that is through these collective free readings. I have a lunar tarot scope for all of us for the time period between the new moon in Capricorn on December 28th, 2016, and the full moon in Cancer on January 12th, 2017. So during this time of transition into the new year, I'm also offering individual support through personalized 13 moon readings, which are amazing to get right at the beginning of a new year or at your birthday, and also with energy clearings. So both of those things can be done distantly or in person. If you're interested in either of those, you can contact me, Nectar of the Goddess Temple at gmail.com. This is a super powerful time of the year, and it's a great time to receive guidance and also to clear your energy field to start off the new year fresh. So we are, this reading is aligned with the time period between the new moon in Capricorn on December 28th and the full moon in Cancer on January 12th. So Capricorn, new moon, is all about, it's an earth element sign. And so, of course, we will be receiving messages of earth guardianship and how we can best be of service to Mother Earth. Also of how to create a grounded, stable, and supported um, physical body and daily life as well. The cards that I'll be using for this reading, I'll be using the Fifth Tarot, which is a deck that was created by Teresina and Martine Bakkins. And I also may be pulling some Oracle cards um, from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck, created by Doreen Virtue. The Angels of Atlantis, which is a sound healing Oracle deck created by Stuart Pierce. And also, potentially from a new deck, which I was gifted for the holidays, uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle by Colette Baron reed So that will be fun. Thanks, Camille, for the cards. Okay, so some messages which I have already received for us prior to the actual reading, and one card did come out already as I was preparing the decks for the readings. Um, the energy of the duck, the mallard duck, in particular has been really present in my life and making itself known <laughs> to me and um, also for the collective and duck medicine um, well has a lot of different meanings depending on what type of duck and whether it's male or female this is from a male duck um, Ducks are of the air, but also of the water, so they deal with both the mind and the emotional body. And the duck has to do with emotional intelligence, and also with emotional self-care, and being able to glide around the energies of others um, and keep your own emotional field intact. Um, so if you've seen ducks in the water or when it's raining, the water just rolls right off their feathers. They have a lot of oil on their feathers. So it's sort of like letting things roll off you without affecting you. Uh, they're also quite graceful on the water and in the air. And some of their other messages are about the importance of community and also relationships. Something else that I recently found out about duck medicine that I thought was interesting, um, well, about the colors, about the iridescent color that's on some duck feathers, is that iridescent colors can represent a fine line between reality and imagination. So also when we have this type of energy present, uh, we're being asked to pay special attention to what is real and what is imagined. Um, strength has come up a lot as well for this time of transition into the new year. So taking stock of how strong you actually are based on your past experiences and also knowing that you have the strength and the perseverance to succeed at your goals. All right. Um, and the card which came out of the deck before um, b 
before the reading started, while I was preparing, is a major arcana card. Excuse me. It's the one, the magician. And this card is all about having the ability to create your own reality and knowing that you are the creator of your reality. And we are entering 2017 numerologically is a one year, which is, this is a one card. So this is all the, the power of creation, the power of setting your intention and creating and knowing that we all have this power and this ability within us. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from the fifth tarot deck. And then we'll also pull from the oracle cards. Okay, there are two tarot cards. And these are the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms cards. Some wisdom from our guides for this transition time. There's that one. Oh. Goddess Guidance deck is right here. And one card from no, actually, that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, the angels want us all to know. I was going to pull an Angels of Atlantis card, um, but they said that's not necessary. The message from the angels is that they are here for you and that it's important for you to know to call upon the angels and to ask for their guidance and support directly. Because, yes, they are here to assist you and to assist all of us. And, yes, they do require communication. So asking the angels for assistance and guidance, communicating with them what your situation is, and maintaining open lines of communication, which is really important also for all of the guides and all of the energies that you work with is to create and maintain relationships with them. Um, when I was pulling the cards, the goddess guidance card just sort of popped right out. Um, a little bit seemingly to me a little bit more quickly than the wisdom of the hidden realms cards card did um, that hidden realm card deck is new to me I haven't worked with it as much and the goddess guidance deck uh, I work very closely with the goddess in her many forms and so I have a sort of an ongoing relationship so uh, for somebody out there that's important to hear to create and maintain relationships with the energies that you're calling upon for support and guidance. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot cards. Ooh, okay. I haven't gotten this one in a while in the collective readings. The Apprentice of Lotus. This card is in the suit of Lotus, which is about our soul, our essence vibration, and um, this card has a crystal skull and a temple in the stars. It also has a dolphin jumping out of the water, amethyst and white lotus, stars and planets, mountains, the ocean. So there are a lot of different elements represented here. Um, there's also a Merkaba inside the skull. So this card indicates a time or a person um, this could be you this could be somebody else but this person is characterized or this step along the soul's journey through life is characterized by somebody who is in touch with their soul essence with their reason for being incarnated at this time and who is ready to delve more deeply into perhaps esoteric wisdom or the unfoldment and actualization of their soul gifts. Yep, it's that, that second one, 
both of them. So for some people, it will be the first. Some of them are the same. Um, so, and it's the apprentice. So this may be a time to seek further guidance from a teacher um, or to devote yourself more deeply to your studies, to your practice, to your unfoldment of self in, what, in however that looks for you. Spiritual devotion, devotion to your source, your guides, your spiritual leader, leader, the word leader is coming out a lot, leader, you are a leader, and also you can look to other leaders for guidance. And as we own our powers as leaders and step into that role more firmly, we continue the importance of continuing our spiritual work and staying very present is uh, it increases. The importance increases. Okay. Okay. The third card which you received is the initiate of fire. Hmm. And this card shows a phoenix rising straight up out of the flames. Transformation. See this, um, initially I was going to pull six cards, but then was told to pull five because this is such a time of transformation and transition for people. And this card is another indicator of that. This is in the fire suit, which has to do with our passion, our creativity, our kundalini and sexual energy. So this is a time of transformation through fire, through expression, through passion, through allowing the old which no longer serves us to be burned away as we rise in glory. These three are very powerful cards to receive all together. We have a major arcana card and two court cards. So this is a significant, uh, that, that is significant um, in a reading. This is a potent, potent period of time and creation. So these are particularly these two, the magician, the magician and the initiate of fire are very active cards, very active energy, masculine energy. And the initiate, the, sorry, the apprentice of Lotus that is an androgynous suit. Um, and there is still action occurring in this card. It's a little bit more passive than the other two, but it is, it is also active. And this is receiving and transmitting divine information. Let's take a look at what else we have in store here. From the wisdom of the hidden realms, we have the spirit whisperer, divine guidance and higher knowing, card number three. It's a beautiful card. And the color... Part of the colors in this are similar to the colors we have in this other card. The Spirit Whisperer. And this card came to us as an ally, which means that it was face up versus in reverse. So this card came to us as an ally. And as a sign of our deep connection with spirit and source, this is indicating a time to go within and seek further guidance from the divine, from spirit. And trusting in that wisdom which you receive. There's an owl in this image and also a butterfly. And the person looks like she also has wings or the being has wings. And there are other, there's another winged creature in the initiative fire. 
as well as the raven in the magician card. So a lot of winged messengers here. So and also, of course, the um, <laughs> the duck being another winged messenger. Paying attention to our winged allies, the angels, the birds. Hmm. Our goddess guidance card is Cordelia. Go outside. You have been indoors too long, which is easy to do in the winter. <laughs> you have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. And there are some fairies here with Cordelia. And the ocean is also shown in this, in this uh, image as well, as well as flowers. It's so important for all of us to spend a lot of time in direct contact with Mother Earth outside in nature um, or simply just being outside makes a big difference if you live in a city. Um, making time to walk through a park or um, go to a garden. Somewhere where you can sit and be surrounded by nature elements by grass and trees, or just <laughs> simply by snow and rocks this time of year, depending on where you live. If it's possible to go to a body of water, that is a good idea. Hmm. So there's a very light quality to the imagery of this card, but there's also a depth in her eyes and depth being um, insinuated by the presence of the ocean and the shells along the bottom of the card. And so this reminds me a little bit of the duck energy as well, of the message to to be emotionally aware and to have that ability to take care of yourself emotionally as well as physically and mentally and spiritually <laughs> and energetically. There are so many ways that we can take care of ourselves, but it's really important right now to balance our emotional and our physical bodies. So thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I really love and appreciate all of you, and I encourage you to contact me if you are interested in a 13 moon reading for the new year, or an energy clearing, or if you are one of the people who are looking to step further into your gifts and abilities, I am here to help you live your soul purpose and empower you to actualize your gifts. So you can contact me directly through email at the Nectar of the Goddess Temple at gmail.com. You can also find the Nectar of the Goddess Temple on Facebook. Much love and many blessings.